I turn now to my final measure to back British business, Mr Speaker. As I said, since 2010, uh, we have seen the second highest growth in investment of any G7 country. However, if we're to raise productivity, we need to increase business investment further. In 2021, my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, introduced the super deduction for large businesses to further stimulate business investment. And this spring, I introduced full expensing for three years. This means that for every million pounds a company invests, they get £250,000 off their tax bill in the very same year. The CBI, Make UK, the BCC, Energy UK, and 200 other business leaders from companies including BT Openreach, Siemens, and Bosch have said that making this measure permanent would be the single most transform transformational thing I could do for business investment and growth. The Centre for Policy Studies say it would maximise business investment, boost productivity and deliver higher levels of GDP. But because it costs £11 billion a year, I made clear that I would only do so when it was affordable. Well, with inflation halved, borrowing down and debt falling, today I deliver on that promise. I will today... I will today make full expensing permanent. That is the largest business yeah. tax cut in modern yeah. British history. Yeah. It means we have not just the lowest headline corporation tax rate in the G7, but its most generous capital allowances. The OBR say this will increase annual investment by around £3 billion a year and a total of £14 billion over the forecast period. We know on this side of the House the way to back British business is not to borrow more or subsidise more, but to increase the incentives to invest. Yeah. And we do that today by introducing one of the most generous tax reliefs anywhere in the world, a huge boost to British competitiveness in an autumn statement for growth. <coughs> Skills, planning, infrastructure reform, pension fund reform, support for innovation industries, levelling up, backing small businesses and full expensing. Under Labour, Business investment was 9.3% of GDP in real terms. Since 2010, it's been 9.8% of GDP. But today, we go further, because taken together, the overall impact of today's growth measures will be to increase business investment in the UK economy by around £20 billion a year within the decade, nearly 1% of GDP at today's level. This is the biggest ever boost for business investment in modern times, a decisive step towards closing the productivity gap with other major economies, and the most effective way we can raise wages and living standards for every family in the country. Yeah.